Okay, so basically we're just going to be reviewing the Prismacolor um, alcohol markers. They are a competitor of um, Copic, which I'm sure if you're familiar with the um, marker world, you'll know what those are. They're the biggest brand. They're super expensive. Um, these actually were pretty expensive too, but they're not as expensive. Um, I wanted to try the Huion or whatever the heck they are. I forget. There's a brand on um, Amazon that's way cheaper than uh, either of these marker packs. And uh, I don't know if you've ever used them. Or oh, was it Ohuhu? I don't even remember. It is what it is. If you guys have used them before, leave a comment down below. Maybe I'll even get them and we'll review those too. Um, they are the competitor of Copic. So that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, I have my little swatch paper here along with the coloring page that I've printed out. This is one of my ones off of my Etsy. And that's what we're going to use to color on. It's just regular printer paper. It's nothing special. Uh, I like to use materials that you'll usually have laying around your house because, again, I believe that as an artist, you really don't need anything special. These markers are a lot of money, um, so if you don't really like to color with marker, I would not waste your money on that. Do, do, do another option. It's not really something you want to waste your money on if you're never going to use it. So The last time I recorded, I was um, tie-dyeing shirts. And I also was working on a painting, actually right here. It's drying. It is drying because I just recently hopped back into this. Um, it's been kind of sitting unfinished for a while, but I took the time yesterday to do it. Um, so there's that. There's my little update in my kind of weird little world. Um, but today, I've been trying to work more on getting more stuff in my Etsy shop. So you'll see I had a lot of coloring books launching. I had notebooks, which are right here. I have more coming in the mail soon. Look how cute. My little snail. I also had my sweatshirt, which I'm actually wearing. But I'm wearing it, and this is one of the colors that came in one of the options that you could get. Um, here's one of my coloring pages. That's actually what we're going to be doing today is my coloring page. And we're gonna be reviewing these Prismacolor alcohol markers. And as you can see, I can I have a whole bunch, a lot. And um, that's one of my other coloring pages that I did with the alcohol markers. I tested it out on that because I've never actually really used them. So I have those. And then there's another set right here that came with it. I forget what actual pack this was, but it was on sale, so I grabbed it at uh, Michael's a while back. And I never actually really had time to work with it. So the other day I did, and I really liked how it came out, so we're going to be working on it with the Mushroom Girl. And look how cute she is. You can get this coloring page for like two bucks on my Etsy. It's really, it's easy. You just download it and print it out, and you have this awesome little file that you can color on. You can actually do it digitally too if you don't print it out. You can just use it on your um, whatever uh, software you use. I use Procreate, but you could use Photoshop, whatever, whatever you want to use. I made this little chart too for all the different marker colors because for some reason they didn't come with like a little swatch thing. So these are all the different colors that you get in this pack that I grabbed. From Michaels a while back, it was on sale. This is also the Prismacolor Fine Line, Fine Liners that I have, which I don't have in here. I would show you, but they're just Fine Liner guys. They're just little, they're like Sharpie markers, basically. They come in different sizes. So that's that. Okay guys, so I picked out the colors that we're gonna use for when we're drawing. And I have the double-sided Prismacolor um, markers, the alcohol markers, with the brush tip and the, I forget what it's called, the fine, the fine point? Whatever. You get the point. Um, but these are the colors that I picked. So I have goldenrod. I'm going to be using light cerulean blue, carmine red, crimson red, chartreuse, carterus, chartreuse, whatever, light umber, Tuscan Red, Lilac, I was going to say Violet, but Lilac, 
light peach, light tan, cream, sienna brown, and last one, dark brown. The only thing that was really disappointing about this Prismacolor pack that I bought was that they didn't really have a lot of options for skin tones. And that's like a really huge downside for me. Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't... You have all these colors in here, why wouldn't you put more skin tones in there? Like, like a... Why don't you have like a, a really pale tan color in this? Like, I don't understand. The cream is more of like a yellow. Otherwise, I would have thought that would have been more like skin toned, but it's really not. Like, where's the cream? Look at that color. Like, that's not really the best skin tone color. They have a light peach, which is what I'm going with, because I guess that's the closest I'm going to get. And there's also a tan color, but it's a little too... It's also There it is. That's also not the color I want to go for. Not for this particular... Um drawing, but really kind of disappointed. They didn't have a lot of options for skin tones for this, so there's my cup of tea for you. I don't know. Oh, and um, this is the fine point, and on the other side, they have the brush pen, which honestly, this is my favorite. I love the brush tip, and you'll see why in a second because you can actually fan it out like a paintbrush. So I'm kind of just starting on the edges here. And I'm just kind of flicking this upwards. And you can see these are kind of like really nice, like juicy colors. Like they're not, it's not a dried out marker. They're pretty nice. And I think that's the difference between these and Copic. Copic, I think you can actually buy replacement tips for when they actually dry out. These, I don't think you can. I'm not really sure on that. But this is the lighter shade of red, so I'm just going to go over it fully. But I wanted to show you that little flick trick. Oh no, I already went through some of the lines here. I'm kind of drawing at a weird angle, so it's kind of a little more difficult. Just so you guys can see how these bleed onto the paper. By the way, if you're working on like a surface or something like on your table, make sure you put down a piece of paper underneath because if not, there's a possibility it will bleed through and it will get on your table or whatever you're working on. Don't really know. So that's why if you're working in your sketchbook, I also recommend putting a piece of paper or, or cardboard or whatever, uh, whatever protectant you want to put underneath it so it doesn't bleed through and get onto your other sketchbook pages. I've had that happen to me so many times. So there's my little tip for you guys. All right, so I added that first nice coat of red. Um, with a lighter color red that I had, the carmine red, and now I'm just going over it with the crimson red. But now I'm just gonna add more brush stroke textures. So I'm gonna do that little flick that I did before, just at the bottom of the mushroom, add like a really pretty texture. So just like a little flick upwards. So it adds a little movement and uh, depth whatever you're coloring. Just at the bottom of the mushroom like that. That's how what I kind of wanted. So we're gonna do it with the other ones. And that's why the brush tip is my favorite because you have a little more artistic ability with it, if that makes sense. And if you wanna do a cool little effect, you can do that little flick with your rick downwards and then upwards on the bottom. So it has like this middle highlight right here. That's like a fun little thing that you can do too. And then we're gonna move on to the next mushroom. And I'll show you what I mean by that, because I'm doing that right here. See how I just did the top part and I just left it a little streaky? That adds like a nice texture.
Okay guys, so now that I'm done um, coloring at this point, I wanted to go over what I really think is important about these. So if you're thinking about buying the Prismacolor uh, alcohol markers, you kind of know what you're getting. So again, they're the dual tip. They have the brush on the other side and the fine tip, which I actually didn't even use once in this whole thing. So keep that in mind. It really depends on your style per se. But this is how it came out. And the sky is kind of funky, and I'm going to tell you why. So the thing about this is if you have like a really big area to cover, it kind of comes out streaky if you leave it just one um, coat. So you kind of want to go over it again. This spot right here is where I did that. This is two coats. So it's nice and uniform and even. So if you're looking for more of a textured look, you want to do basically just like one little coat of color. And then if you're looking to do more of a uniform shade, that's basically what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to layer these, which isn't bad. A lot of art mediums are like that. Col colored pencil is a really big one. you got to layer them. And if you are looking into markers, that's also something that a lot of people do. They, they do this and then they go over it with colored pencil. And I actually really do like that. I'm not going to get into that today, but this is basically how it came out. I really do like them. And this is just on regular paper, regular printer paper, nothing special. Um, I would recommend using it in your sketchbook just because thicker paper works better, but it really came out nice. I really like it. So that concludes my review. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, check out my other videos. I do have other ones on um, acrylic paintings like that one per se up there. That's just a print, but I do have my acrylics. I have watercolor. I don't have videos on the watercolor, so maybe I'll have to change that at some point. Um, I have my oil paintings. Colored pencil. That one is layers and layers of colored pencil, just as an example of another art medium that you do have to layer like that. So I highly recommend. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.